fritillarius. So what we need for them or an image of them inspired by fritillarius, because these are ones, but we need glue, we need a bit of crepe paper or some kind of paper to put inside for the stamens and you might not necessarily see them, but they're a good blocker for for um, the inside and to create like a sort of base for the flower itself. So what I'm doing is I'm chopping up little pieces if I were chopping up onions or it could be any kind of green paper. This is also some green paper. You don't need a lot. And um, I'm using very little, actually. And then what you can do is with the crepe paper, it's quite fun. You can sort of twist the ends so that they become more squiggly. And um, some of the fritillarias have white insides and and some of them have um, the stamen doesn't really look like this, but it um, it's again, it's just to give it a base. So I'm a lot of my flower making starts off with with this kind of structure. So I'm wrapping the metal wire around it and making sure that the end bit is covered in as well. And then I'm covering it with a piece of masking tape. And really see if you can mould in the, or blend in, I don't know if it's called mould in, actually blend in the masking tape with a the wire. These are the templates and I'm using the template because it's quite, it was a little bit tricky to find the exact shape, but I'm I'm using that to cut up other, uh, the template to cut up other pieces in sheet music. And what I'm doing is I'm just giving it a fold from the, from the pointed bit and towards the middle, just giving, just working the paper without doing anything else. I'm just working the paper because it'll make it easier once you start constructing. It's a very fiddly flower to make, but you get the hang of it. And one of the things that I think helps a lot is to fasten the middle point, the stamen or the, the in the middle and just really fasten it with a bit of masking tape. You won't be able to see this, but it's nice to have it really stuck well onto there. And then I glue one side of the petal and I fold the next petal on top of it. And see if you can get the petals to align at the bottom bit. And when you've put the glue on, often glue sticks, they, you know, it takes a little bit of time before the glue really really takes, um, does its thing. So, you know, sometimes that can be in your favour and other times you just have to hold on to it for a little bit longer and then maybe you haven't put enough glue on it or, you know, just it's, it's, it gets quite sticky. So you can have um, an open fritillaria, a little bit more open one than sometimes they, they're a little bit more closed, but as you can see it becomes almost like a little square or a little box at the top bit when you see them in real life. And of course this one isn't at all like like the real ones that are spotted um, almost like quail eggs or purpley, but um, you could use some purpley paper or you can paint them like that. I This is more of a bellflower. If you don't have any glue in front of you, you can use masking tape or any kind of tape really to stick the pieces of the petals together. It gets a little bit tricky though at the very, the last one. But you're wanting this almost box shape at the top, square at the top and then the petals going in. And the more you put the petals on top of each other, the more you place them on top of each other, the closed, the more closed the flower will look at the end of it. One of the petals is a little bit longer, so I'm just cutting that off to make it align, or to align it with the other petals. And of course, all of these flowers are very much inventing what, you know, noticing what they look like in nature. I think some of the fritillaries have this stamen on the inside, which is more, almost triangular. I'm just twisting some crepe paper to put this one in there. I'm wrapping masking tape around it on the inside. And I'm just going to show you that you could also glue it from the inside. So if you're gluing it from the inside, you're placing the petals on the inside. To start off with, it can be quite, sort of depends on what grip you have on them. 
And again, you can really mold the paper if it's if it's thin paper. It's it's quite fun to see how much you can actually mold them and not and not be, you know, the almost shape it with the glue. It's a bit like um, wallpaper glue. You can you can really change it. This one I wanted it to be more closed, so I'm just opening it up a little bit more with the, with the scissors, and then placing the bit I cut up into that doesn't look complete like a petal. I'm just placing it further in. And I still need to have my finger inside in order to glue them. So unless you have really small fingers, you won't be able to completely close them. But they have a little bit more of a quail egg shape then. And then, of course, wrapping the floral green floral tape around them. I'm just straightening them out again because it's easier to put the floral tape around it. I'm wrapping it around like a scarf, making sure that it really grips at the top bit. And once I know that I, once I can feel that it's gripping, I'm stretching out the floral tape and twisting it using my hands, swirling the flower around and then giving it the little nod at the end. And fritillaries have this almost grass-like looking leaves. And um, if you cut up some thin strips of of uh, crepe paper or green paper, you can just twi twink, uh, twist them into the floral tape at the very end. So gratifying. You don't have to make a lot of these for them to um, to have an effect. Have fun. <laughs>